Today's NBA mailbag is presented by the healthiest and the most delicious cereal on the market. That is, of course, Magic Spoon. Get $5 off at magicspoon.com slash chat. You guys see the benefits. 13 grams of protein, 4 grams of net carbs, 0 grams of sugar, tons of different flavors available, including the frosted big fan of their cereal at magicspoon.com slash chat go ahead and get five dollars off at magic spoon when you check out trust me best cereal healthiest cereal it's absolutely delicious let's go to danny johnson hashtag nba should boston trade for damian lillard i mean i think a lot of teams should try to right danny i, I look i love damian lillard this is one of my favorite players in the nba he's a fantastic talent Almost 30 points a game last year, 4.2 rebounds, 7.5 assists. We know the type of shooter, the type of scorer, the type of confidence this guy plays with each and every night. As far as the Boston Celtics go, you've still got that Gordon Hayward trade exception. Uh, you lost Kimba Walker in a trade to the Oklahoma City Thunder. So I like Damian Lillard's fit in Boston. The question is, do they have the ammunition to trade for him? I think it would have to be a combination of Marcus Smart. You may have to flip Al Horford as well, uh, who you just got in the Kimball Walker trade, and probably some future draft picks, but I think it's worth it. Damian Lillard is a terrific, terrific player, if you ask me. Mini Mitch is next up, hashtag NBA. Should Golden State go all in on a Bradley Beal trade? Listen, I mean... Uh, I'm down. <laughs> Bradley Beal in the Bay. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Bradley Beal. Let's hoop, baby. That would be a lot of fun if you ask me. Almost won the scoring title over Steph Curry, but Curry ended up winning it. 30.9 points per game. Five boards, five assists. The three-point percentage wasn't great, but uh, the guy has become just a walking bucket as an ISO scorer, so I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. Uh, I think he can be a great fit anywhere, and especially with the spacing that Golden State plays with. So, uh, yeah, Minnie Mitch, let's, uh, let's get Bradley Beal to the Bay and go play some hoops because I think that would be an absolutely terrific fit uh, for the Golden State Warriors. Stock fan, do you think the Utah Jazz will re-sign Mike Conley? <sighs> you know, the injuries in the playoffs do, do you know, it makes you pause. But he was really good this year, too. Like, you know, he finally made an all-star game, albeit as a reserve. Uh, I'd like to bring him back on a one- or two-year deal. Uh, we'll see if that happens. I love Conley quite a bit. Uh, you know, he's getting older, though, and injuries are piling up a little bit. Marquise Robertson, Harrison, who do you have in the NBA Finals this year. Well, how about you guys just vote on it, and then I'll give my thoughts. 2021 champs, who's it going to be? Type LAC for the Clips, type PHX for the Suns, type ATL for the Atlanta Hawks, type MIL for the Milwaukee Bucks. Get your votes in, and I'll get my thoughts on it. I've got the Suns in the Bucks. I know the Bucks, uh, you know, got off to a slow start in this series, but I think they end up winning it over the Atlanta Hawks. And uh, I think the Suns close out the Clippers uh, in probably six games. So Suns, Bucks, CP3, Giannis, one of those guys will get their first ring. King J, what point guard should Boston get? Um, I mean, Damon Lillard would be great, of course, who we've talked about quite a bit. Uh, Lonzo Ball is an interesting name that uh, I think uh, is worth uh, consideration. Um, Oh, those are kind of the two big ones out there right now. You obviously traded Kimba Walker. Do you want Marcus Smart running the point? I don't know. I wouldn't go that route. You could see Jason Tatum become kind of that point forward too. So they've got some options. Uh, we'll wait and see uh, how Brad Stevens approaches things this offseason. Turd boy, what should the Spurs do this offseason and who should they target in the draft? Uh, probably some international prospect because that's what the Spurs do, right? Um... You know, obviously you got DeMar DeRozan. I don't think that you're going to bring him back. He's a free agent. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, you let him go. He retired. So that, that kind of duo tandem is done. You got DeJounte Murray still. Uh, you know, they're going to have some cap space with DeRozan off the books. Do you try to go all in and see if you can be a consistent playoff team for a few more years? Or do you fully, fully, fully commit to a rebuild finally? Because they really haven't done that with Pop, even though for a few years now they've been a fringe playoff team. Uh, that's not where you want to be. You don't want to be a French playoff team. You either want to be a contender or committing to a rebuild so you can eventually be a contender. Excellency of Jacob Simmons is a hell of a defender, especially at 6'11". Dude is KD's height. He's a jumper away from dominating the league. 
that's what's so frustrating. Why does he not improve the jump shot? It just seems like he doesn't commit to working on the jumper during the offseason. And that's what's so just brutal because he is a top five defender in this league. He is an excellent passer, ball handler, uh, overall uh, player, but he can't shoot and he's not willing to shoot. So that's a massive problem when you get into the playoffs and you can just clog the paint on him. Four Hive, best Laker ever. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, you know, everyone loves Kobe, and he's certainly worthy. I'm a, I love Shaq as well. You know, I'm not the guy that's going to be like, oh, it's some guy, you know, it's, it's Kareem, even though I didn't watch him because I wasn't alive yet. Like, obviously, he's worthy. Uh, there's a lot of guys that have come through the purple and gold that are worthy of being considered the best Laker ever. Uh, Kobe and Shaq, that duo was unbelievable to watch. Uh, so I'll say just the combination of those two. How about that? Now, we've been telling you guys about Magic Spoon because it's delicious. And, hey, you know, I looked in the mirror a couple months ago. I was like, I got to lose some weight. Met with the nutritionist, and they were like, uh, what have you been eating? You know, you do some late-night snacks. I was like, yeah, I love a bowl of cereal before bed. And they were like, that's a problem, especially with these main brand cereals. So I cut that out. I've been cutting some weight. But Magic Spoon reached out, and I got this uh, this awesome uh, cocoa flavor uh, that I flashed on your screen. And I got 13 grams of protein and zero grams of sugar in the process. Guys, Magic Spoon has changed my life because it's allowed me to bring cereal back into my diet. But it's not impacting what I'm trying to do, which is lose weight right now. And you can get $5 off at Magic Spoon by going to magicspoon.com slash chat. Click that link in the live chat in the comments in the description. Uh, grab a box. Grab four boxes. I got tons of them up here. Look, you got the peanut butter flavor uh, that uh, will flash on screen uh, for you guys in just a second. Magicspoon.com slash chat. Look at this bad boy. Peanut butter. For, you got the 13, 14 grams of protein in that particular box. Grab a box. Grab four. Cocoa flavor is fantastic. We got the fruity. All kinds of cereal as well. I actually had the fruity cereal this morning. Very, very delicious. Magicspoon.com slash chat. Uh, get $5 off at checkout today. Mark Mola, will Lowry remain with the Raptors for next year? Well, he's a free agent, so, I mean, if he signs one-year deal, sure. Uh, I think he's open to staying, but I think he only will resign if he believes the Raptors can at least be somewhat competitive. What's somewhat competitive? At least fighting for a playoff spot, getting into the playoffs. I don't think they're that far away. They still have some nice young pieces, but... I do think they're fairly far away from being a real contender. He may not want to be a part of that if he's, uh, you know, since he's turning 35, 36. Reagan talks about movies. If you could bring back an old player to an existing team, what what player and what team? Dirk to the Met, prime Dirk with Luka in Dallas because, you know, I'm a Mavs fan. I think that would be a lethal pick and pop uh, duo there. Uh, some other ones. Oh, man. How about, how about Shaq? Uh, to uh, Portland. Like, what's been the Blazers' biggest issue? They're not great defensively, and they don't get a lot of production out of bigs. Well, Dame Dalla shooting 37-footers and Shaq dominating the paint, that would be a whole lot of fun. So those are a couple of examples I can think of, but appreciate uh, the question. Bobby Bernard, will Steve Ballmer move the Clippers to Seattle? I mean, the real, the real – you know, chatter has been they're going to move out to Inglewood and get that stadium going. I don't know where we are with that currently, but uh, I think if Seattle gets a team, if a team's going to move there, I think it'll be like the Pelicans or it'll be an expansion team. I don't think the Clippers uh, will move out there. I, I, I still think uh, – uh, I don't think they want to concede L.A. to the Lakers, even though we all know it's, uh, it's the Lakers town. Jay, hashtag NBA, who should the Lakers try to get? Bradley Beal, Zach Levine. I think Beal's more gettable. Um, I also think he's a better fit because Zach Levine's a little more ball dominant. Beal doesn't have to be. Uh, I would look at Beal over Levine. It's going to cost a lot. You're going to have to shed some contracts. Uh, but if you could somehow find a way to get LeBron, AD, and Beal on the same roster, does it matter who the rest of the players are? I don't really think so as long as that trio stays healthy. Marquise Robertson, Harrison, do you see the Lakers trading for Kyrie Irving? No. The Nets are running it back. Guys, they just traded for Harden early last season. Uh, Katie and Kyrie basically didn't play the year before. Kyrie gets hurt this playoff, so does uh, Harden. They only play eight games together, the trio. They're going to run it back. I think that trio will be back, and uh, they want to win a ring in Brooklyn. 
Uh, James Clem, uh, please let people know this SGA crap is all talk, not going to happen. Uh, I actually don't know what you're talking about. So if it's a trade thing, then I'm with you. I don't think he gets traded. Uh, so there you go. I'll look up this story afterwards. I hope I'm not out of the loop on something. Noah Die, does Miami Heat go for D Rose? By the way, if people know what he's talking about with SGA, please let me know. Um, I think that'd be a good bench guard for them. I think D Rose as a sixth man point guard off the bench for a team trying to contend is a great fit because he's proven he can play that role very well. Daniel Zaidi, Kawhi, returning to Toronto. Guys, <laughs> if he didn't re-sign after winning a title in Toronto, he's not going to sign there now. He, guys, the Clippers are in the conference finals. He's re-signing with the Clippers. The only way he was going to leave is if Dallas ended up beating them in the first round, then he would have thought about it. But with them in the conference finals, and by the way, with him banged up, still playing well, I think he's going to stay there. He fought for years to get out to the West Coast. Now he's finally there. He's going to leave after two years. I don't see it happening. Cash out Isaiah. Which two players do you believe the Magic should target in the draft at picks five and eight? Uh, best players available, period, end of story. Uh, and probably not a center because even though you trade Vucevic, they, they've drafted. Yeah, you've got Bamba. You've got... Uh, who am I forgetting there, Perry? Uh, you got, uh, yeah, you got some. You got Jonathan Isaac's coming back. He's a big. You've got a lot of uh, bigs, like kind of stretch fours and centers uh, that uh, don't really make sense at this point. So uh, get a wing, get a guard, but get the best player available. Uh, a few more minutes. Let's answer this question first. Better part of the off season. Type D for draft. Type F for free agency. I can get a couple of shout outs here. Billy says draft. Let us know what is the better part of the NBA offseason. D for draft, F for free agency. James says draft. Lil Ebden says free agency. Get your votes in right now. Which part do you like better? We got X Terror up. Best free agent fits in Dallas. Free agent? I would love John Collins. He's restricted. Atlanta's in the conference finals. I bet he stays there, but he's a player that I would like quite a bit. Um, I think I'm intrigued by Spencer Dinwiddie as another creator next to Luka. Um, depends on cost there. Obviously, Tim Hardaway is a guy you would like to bring back. Uh, for those watching on our Mavericks channel, youtube.com slash Mavs TV, we'll do a top free agent uh, uh, targets uh, video probably next week. So uh, stay tuned for that. Oh, excuse me. Lil Eden, D-Rose to the Lakers. I'm down. Six man, backup point guard. The Lakers have had backup point guard issues for years. Like, that's why Rondo, they actually missed Rondo this year, as weird as that sounds. Like, he, you know, he was a nice backup point guard during the playoffs last year. Uh, and especially when a guy like Schroeder struggled, they could have gone to Rondo, could have gone to a guy like D. Rose had they had him. Didn't really have that guy. And Caruso's not really a true, you know, kind of run the offense type of guard. So, yeah, I think if you can get him for cheap, that would be great. Jay, would you trade AD for Dame Dollar? Oh, man. <sighs> I would consider it just on health alone. AD has been a guy that – he's not Porzingis level, but he does miss games. Like, he's going to miss 15 games a year, and in, 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 at times he's not going to be healthy in the playoffs. So, uh, Damian Lillard's been a guy that's been able to stay healthy. If it's a straight-up trade, I might consider it. It would hurt your defense tremendously, but uh, – LeBron and Dame running and gunning, that'd be a lot of fun. I would try to get him without losing AD. The money is almost impossible, but you could find a way to make it work. I don't know if they have enough draft picks to send up to Portland. Noah Die, Warriors should go all in on Kawhi. I mean, <laughs> sure, but I don't, A, I don't think that uh, he's going he's gonna to leave the Clippers now that they're in the conference finals, and B, what are you going to send him? Wiggins and or Draymond plus your two firsts this year and a first in 23, I guess? Like, I don't know. Why would the Clippers do that? They're trying to win now. So I, I don't think that they're going to be able to trade uh, for Kawhi Leonard in Golden State. So uh, appreciate the question, uh, Noah. 